If you've ever bought an online course and haven't learned to grow your fan base or made a lot of money, then something is wrong. And I'm here to break down what that might be because as somebody who spent $100,000 at least on online courses, I haven't had a lot of the problems that so many people have said when it comes to um, this course is completely useless or I haven't seen any growth. I haven't been able to make any money back. I can tell you the things that I've invested in have been more than worth it. And the reason I'm going over this now on this channel is because artists especially seem to have problems transitioning to the entrepreneurial thinking that allows them to analyze what's going to make sense in terms of your investment in a course and what expectation you should have and how you get the value out of it. So I'm going to do four things, all right, that'll help you understand how to get your bang for your buck when it comes to these courses. All right. Now, zero to one hundred dollars. What do you expect here? This is organization. All right. That's all you should expect. All right. And I know this might be the range of money you have at the time. Understand that what you should expect is organization. Nothing genius. Right. You might be completely new to this thing. So all of it could be genius to you at that time. But organization. Now, there are some people who have some highly genius information there, but that's a rare case. Generally speaking, is one um, zero to one hundred dollars organization. One hundred to one thousand dollars. You're expecting information. Right. That's more specific. Right. So that means. It's like, yo, you really know what you're talking about. This isn't just some general stuff that you might find in a whole bunch of blogs. I'm starting to find some true gems, right, that are applicable to, to the specific category that I'm investing in, right? Now, once you get to a thousand plus, this is when you start, you should start expecting some, um, eh, I want to say improvement, right? And this is a big word because you're like, well, why don't I have improvement right here and right here? Well, I'll get into steps number one through three, but I want you to understand the organization levels and how much you pay for things and what you should expect out of them first. Once you get to 10K to 50K, and, and this is what you're paying for the courses, by the way. And I know this sounds crazy, but it's, this is a real thing. You should expect something consultative, truly consultative at this level, right? And then you have to be a certain type of person to, to actually take advantage of each of these. 50K plus, you're looking for experience that you're trying to borrow from people, ideas, um, you, you, you're, look, you're looking for CEO type advice, let's put it that way. How to run your business in most cases. How do you run something and, um, once you get to that level? And you might not be the type of person not only to have this budget, but you also might not have a business or an idea or be a product if you're an artist, right, that's able to take advantage of this shit, right? If you don't have a fan base, right, and you're not moving and shaking and you already have a clear monetization engine, then you probably don't need to be invested in anything at this level. I don't even know if there's a, a course up here, but just for artists specifically, so since so many of you guys follow me, like that level is for a someone who's really established and they're, they have something that can immediately apply the knowledge to. People here, they can immediately apply the knowledge, all right? Once you get like start getting down here, it can be a little bit less clear. Now, that's just one thing. That's how you look at the ladders of pricing. After that though, you gotta understand your expectations of the people that exist at these levels, right? So what does that look like? Well. Look, man, no, no one's really getting that rich off of a $5 product, a, a $17 product, $20 product, $50 product. Like in most cases, even if it's good money to you, it's probably not great money to that other person, especially ex considering all expenses. Right. So how does this person live? Right. Is this person even a certain level of expert when they have a lot of products at, at this level and they don't have anything at a higher level? Eh, probably not. 
right? And I'm not going to want to give you all of my time and really help you with every single detail of your career for $5. Would you want to do that for somebody? No, right? So just think about how you would want to do it, regardless if you have a lot of money or not, if you're selling a course or not. If you have built your expectations to kind of think about how you would do things, you'll start to understand what you should expect on the other side, right? One to a hundred uh, to a thousand dollars. Eh, you know, that's better money, right? Oh, if I get five people to pay me $500, shoot, that's $2,500 a month. And I was only making $1,500 a month working as a, as a, at a busboy at this restaurant. Yeah, cool, all right? So that might mean something to you, right? But what, what do you expect of the other person on the other end? Because if the other person on the other end is thinking like that, do you do you even want to learn from that person? Right now, I'm not saying it can't it can be a really smart, talented, successful person that has something at this level. But if somebody's giving you this level of attention at this level, mm, in most cases, you you probably they probably don't have a certain level of success behind them or establishment behind them. Right. Then when we get to improvement, because that means they can't get more, right? Because that means they have a high skill, right? If you have a really, really high skill, you can get so much more for it. And, and most people aren't going to just keep altruistically giving to the world just because I think it's for the good. And the reason is not just because people don't want to do it, but also it's a, it's a headache and it's a lot of work to keep serving people at this level with that level of attention, right? So that's the reality of it. And I'm trying to help you you understand the mindset of all these sides because I swear this is going to make you make better decisions when it comes to buying online courses, but it's also going to translate to other stuff. Because um, this is why we've had people in my business, um, and this not this isn't even necessarily for like a course. This is just like a marketing service for a label, right? We've realized major labels will sometimes look at stuff as too cheap, right? They're like, oh, why are y'all so cheap? That's fishy. So we have to raise our prices so they can trust us because they're like, yo, if y'all are really that good at what y'all do, why are y'all charging this much? It doesn't make sense. All right. So they don't want the deal. They they more are about competency, making sure stuff can get done. And I don't mind paying. So this is what it looks like on the other level. And that's what you're competing with. All right. When you're complaining about $50 or $20 and wanting a refund and whether you got your value or not, there's other people who are like, yo, no, I don't want to pay $1,000. I want to get paid $10,000. Make sure every single detail is, 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 is finished, right? Um, and, and done well, right? And I have nothing to worry about. So improvement is what you're looking for at 1,000 to 10K level, right? This means I have something, a starting point, and I've improved through you through this process one to 100 yeah you can have that expectation and you can take that information and improve but the actual measuring stick of of these courses are are you imp uh, improving or not right and i know you like to imply these things and say i'm spending my heart on money and so i should be able to have that here but again you have to look at the the implications on the other person's life on the other end all right now, getting up here, I'm not going to even talk too much about it because that's a, a custom situation. And you should, if you're here, you probably understand, right? If you start making those decisions. But yes, improvement, all right? Improvement is what you are looking for after you're paying over $1,000. When we're talking about courses, right? Not a specific service that someone's supposed to go execute this service for you. All right. Now, with that being said, a good way to summarize this is if you're self-centered, right, and only thinking about what people are giving to you and what value they're giving to you, then it'll keep you from understanding how to make solid decisions because that entitlement mentality will keep you from seeing what makes sense for other people to do. All right. And then you're not going to understand how to identify the solid people because you're like, hey, if I was this person, Right. And I wanted to make this type of offering. It would look like X, Y and Z. All right. So not being so centered will help you make better decisions for yourself. Ironically. Now, number three, what has the person that you're buying the course from achieved? Now, there is a saying that the people that you're buying from should achieve the things that you actually want to get from that course. But I don't agree with that. 
This is what it looks like. At zero to $100, you're paying for organization to me. You don't have to have achieved anything, right? You literally hire people in companies to sometimes just go put together information, do some research in the marketplace. We have that in our company. Sometimes, hey, bro, you haven't had, don't need to do it yet, but I need you to put this information together for me so then I can make a decision off of it. Organization. Information, I want you to have some level of expertise, all right, in this space. Just some level of expertise before I pay you $500 for it, right? I want you to really, really know something, not just some stuff you've thrown together because you read a couple of blog posts or been on the platform for, you know, two weeks, right? Now, once you get here, yeah, you need to have actually achieved the thing that I'm learning from you, right? Now, um, it doesn't mean you had to be, let's just say, a millionaire, right? What if this course is how to make $5,000? Cool. I need you to have had to make $5,000 with this method, right? So you can show me that. You don't have to, you don't have to be a millionaire, right? I just at least need you to have had made $5,000 with this method, method. Why is that? Because that's what I'm paying for. I'm starting to look for ROI, some type of improvement. And it doesn't have to be a numerical value, right? Maybe you want to become a basketball coach in the little leagues. How I became a basketball coach in the little leagues and and improved my team or something like that. I don't know. It's some type of improvement. Or how did I, I really become good at meditation? So the results weren't literally money, but you did feel some type of improvement. Once we get to 10K, 50K, and I have purchased at these levels. Again, you really are looking for people who, to have achieved those things, right? And oftentimes, it's not somebody who just achieved it once. They've seen it from many angles because you need someone who understands and can think through many angles and not just did something once out of luck, right? That's the type of thing that you're looking for. And the people who are really successful aren't so concerned about what they don't know. This is something I find is a huge issue for people down here. I want to know more. I want to know inf more information. This course was too short or I didn't learn anything new or, oh, I didn't learn anything new. That zero, even up to the $1,000 level, right? And then the people start getting weed out as you get higher because the people who are better at decision making aren't necessarily just thinking about what I don't know because they understand that it's not about necessarily what you don't know that's going to bring you improvement in your life it's what you aren't doing so i can know five different strategies and i just get some advice at this level or above and they say yeah do that strategy oh so i need to do that right i already knew this strategy but this person specified to me that this is the strategy that i personally should be doing at this time that is extremely valuable i don't care to learn every single strategy in the book and feel like i know things uh, just because I know them, right? But a lot of people mess up at this level. This is where they're hurting themselves because they come from the, or they haven't let go of the school textbook mentality where learning is the outcome, right? I know more. Who cares what you know? Can you improve? What's the next step? What's the next level? All right. Now, last but not least, you, that is the last thing to consider. How do you think? Which I just touched on that a little bit, but I want to go a little bit deeper, right? Who do you blame for your results, right? Once you get up here, oh man, if you're blaming people, <laughs> other people for your results, then like, I just doubt that you're up there anyway, right? Unless you just had some money given to you. Once you're up here, you don't really blame people for your results. These people, they're always blaming their outcome on somebody else, right? And I'm not just talking about you're down here because of your budget, but just tendency, right? Most of the people right, in the, who are paying in that range are thinking that way. And if you want to become somebody who can pay these things, doesn't mean you have to. I'm not saying you got to go buy online courses, but the people up here are thinking differently, right? They blame themselves and they have something to improve on, right? So they can get direct value from this, by the way, all right? And these people are easier to work with. I'm not going to lie because they already think correctly. So not only who do you blame, but what do you want? And what do you want can look like, hey, am I looking for information or am I looking for to save time? Because I'm a CEO. I don't have time. Even if I could just find it for $100 in a course, I'd rather you just tell me. 
because I don't want to go find things because my time is worth that much. All right. Or do I want a result from this specifically or do I just want some feedback? Right. There's different things that dictate where you are. All right. And once you get to these other levels, that's what you're you're looking like. Right. But and that difference in how you think makes a huge impact because so many people get afraid. Right. They don't actually believe in themselves. So they'll buy something and they immediately don't see like some massive life change. And I'm talking about within two hours. Right. All of a sudden they're like, oh, man, I need to get a refund or oh, I need to call a credit card company and and act like I actually got screwed over when you have to understand that there's a certain process to become successful, right? And when you understand that process and you understand that you're a huge person, right, to to blame in that process, you're less likely to be as frantic and say, oh, I got to see some type of value in X, X, X period of time. I have an extremely expensive program that I'm a part of and we did not immediately put everything to work. I got in the program, but I recognized that I know this thing is valuable because this person has achieved so much, right? And I don't have the time right now to put into it, all right? Not to the extent that I should. I'm not going to act like the information is invaluable. I'm not going to act like the results aren't there because I still desire the result, right? Like, why would I exit out of a program when I still desire the result, right? It's out of alignment of who I want to be. With a lot of people, it's like, you'll see them exit out of a program or get a refund on something and then call themselves chasing the actual result. But it's like, how are you ever going to get the result if you never did all the work to get there, right? And if it says this thing takes 90 days, I'm just making something up, and you were in there for 10 days and said, I don't think this thing is going to be worth it. Da, 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 da. Well, who decided that the like the person who actually isn't even a, a able to achieve it, the person who never achieved it before? That doesn't make sense. And that's how I try to think of myself. It takes a lot of humility. You have to like understand you're not the best person to determine how to get there when you've never been there. Yet somehow you're judging the content. All right. Now, there's obvious trash. There's obvious scams. That's completely different. But if you're able to go through a lot of these things at the beginning and understand what the expectations you should have, you should be able to make better decisions in who you choose in the first place. And that's the whole point of this video. And this thing is so weird because it's almost a complete flip where most people at 50K, right, who is paying this type of money aren't necessarily expecting their hand to be held, right? They're just expecting quality information to be given when it matters, right? Because they know that work has to be done and there has to be something to apply it to. I'm not coming in just to get told a whole bunch of random things that don't matter to me. Why? Yet at here, people are expecting their hands to be held when they're not even paying enough for the person's life to be impacted enough to hold someone's hand. You get what I'm saying? So small flips in mentality can help you become very profitable and very successful off of buying online courses. You just gotta make the right bets, all right? I've experienced massive growth when I finally started buying into some of these things and I was not an online course buyer at first, it just wasn't me, uh, but since I know so many artists are buying them, I wanted to make this video. Hopefully it was helpful. Let me know if y'all have any other questions or feedback. Peace.